video where I'm going to go over my selection of top 10 games to play with friends. Now I should mention that uh, there's not really any order to this top 10, so number 10 isn't the worst, number 1 isn't the best. It's simply just in uh, kind of a random format. So if you're after a game to play with your friends, then uh, hopefully at least one game on this list will help you out with that. So number 10 is Damned slash Dead Realm. So I've put these two games together because they're basically the same concept and kind of the same game, just, you know, a few different features. You can currently get Damned on Steam for $20 and Dead Realm for $15. Uh, if you had to pick between the two, I'd probably go with Dead Realm because it is cheaper and actually has more content. But this game is a lot of fun with friends because, well, there's a lot of jump scares, a lot of laughs, and um, it's just fun hunting down your friends when you're uh, a little baby and making little fat noises in the background. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> So number 9 is Counter-Strike Global Offensive, currently $15 on Steam. I would imagine most people have probably already played this game before or at least heard of it. Counter-Strike has a huge community behind it which makes it easy to find games. If you enjoy climbing the ranking ladder then this game's got plenty of that. And because communication in Counter-Strike is such a big thing, uh, you need to call out the different areas and the enemies you kill and all that kind of stuff, you definitely have an advantage if you play it with your friends. Uh, just because it makes it easier for communication. But if you're after a competitive FPS, then uh, they don't come any bigger than Counter-Strike. There's an off mode. <laughs> Number 8 is Ark Survival Evolved, currently $30 on Steam. This game hasn't been out for too long, but it does have a lot of patches and content going into it almost every single day. Uh, they're currently introducing more dinosaurs and different little features that you can uh, play around with. For a survival game, there's quite a bit to do. Taming dinosaurs, the raiding, all the different things you can make and craft. So if you're after a good survival game to play with your friends, then I'd definitely recommend Ark. Oh, I'm about to croak it. <laughs> hey, really? <laughs> yes. I can't run any faster than this. <laughs> Number 7 is Nosgoth. Now, Nosgoth is still free to play. Um, they've just introduced like a ranking type system into it that's in its beta. I'm surprised more people don't actually play this game. It's a lot of fun. It's basically an arena type shooter game. Kind of reminds me of Gears of War, just the whole behind the shoulder uh, gun gameplay. Basically it's humans vs vampires, there's a few different classes that you can play and you definitely have to work as a team in this game if you ever want to get anywhere. Number 6 is H1Z1. Now when I say H1Z1 I more so mean the battle royale more so than uh, just the free roam survival aspect. So battle royale kind of plays out more like a team deathmatch rather than a survival game. You can play it either solo, in twos, or in a group of five. So if you've got a bigger group of friends, or if you just want to play with one friend, then uh, you definitely have the option to do that. Obviously you'll come across other groups that you'll have to try and take down, otherwise uh, you'll get wiped out. It's got a good incentive to try and make it to the top, because you get nifty little prizes. So number five is Magicka and Magicka 2. Magicka is currently $10 on Steam, and Magicka 2 is 15 so this game is great because they've actually kept in uh, friendly fire, so you can basically cast any spell you want and kill your friends. Probably sounds pretty brutal. So Magicka is a campaign based game where you and up to three other friends can play together. You can also combine your spells and your abilities together to make more powerful spells, uh, which you'll need to take down enemies and also to finish objectives. Exactly. They're tough, they're tough! Run! <laughs> Save yourself! Number 4 is Armor 3 mods. Now, Armor 3 is currently $60 on Steam, which is pretty steep. I'd imagine you can get it pretty cheap on, uh, on a key website like G2A. There's obviously quite a few mods out for Armor 3 at the moment. Um, 
Hunter's Life is probably one of my favourites. Wasteland's always fun. And they're just easy games to jump into without really having too much of a consequence of whether you just leave or not. Also, if you're into a little bit of roleplay, Alter's Life is uh, perfect for that. Most of the time you'll have to roleplay as the person that you're playing as, so if you're a cop, you'll have to follow all the rules and the laws and pretty much abide by those. If you're a bandit, basically you're going to break the law and try and make as much money as you can and uh, avoid the cops at all costs. I'm in the cop car! I'm in the cop car! But we get... <laughs> He's in your cop car. <laughs> Number three is Reign of Kings. Now I've played this game quite a bit, sunk probably about 300 hours into the game. Probably one of my favourite survival games of all time because there's quite a few different things you can do in it. The building isn't bad. The combat's good fun because you don't have to worry about getting killed from a distance from like a sniper rifle in most other survival games. So it's all melee combat. You actually get to one-on-one -on -one people and uh, it's definitely more skill based. The objective, like most other survival games, is really just to build up a big base, uh, have a lot of different armor and weapons, different little things that you can use. Another interesting feature in this game that no other survival game has is that you can become king and actually tax other people. Which means if you make it to the throne and become king, you can set a tax to all the other players between 1 and 20%. And uh, that all becomes yours, unless of course you're killed and someone else takes the throne. Now, I can't oh, imagine you. they will uh, be too far away. I imagine someone's going to attack pretty soon, so just um, keep your eyes open. Alright, I'll give my life for yours! <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> Number two is Dirty Bomb, which is currently free to play. Again, it's an arena styled FPS where you get to choose different characters that uh, change your loadout. Typically the game matches are objective based, so one team will be attacking, the other team will be defending. So you're going to need medics, you're going to need people that soak up damage and want to deal it out. Nine times out of ten, the team with the best communication and the best kind of character loadout between them all, uh, they're going to win. If you're after a different kind of FPS that you can just jump in and out of, the Dirty Bomb is always a good bit of fun. And number one is RuneScape. Now, no, I'm totally kidding, it's not RuneScape. Number one is League of Legends slash Dota 2 slash Heroes of the Storm. Now, all these games are free, and there's three of them as number one because I feel like they're all pretty much the same thing. They're all MOBAs, you can argue about which one's better and all that kind of stuff. I know people are pretty loyal to the different games, but they all pretty much play out the same and they're all good games. I think League of Legends is currently one of the most played games in the world, if not the most played game in the world. Now, League of Legends has been out for quite a while now, it's got a lot of different champions to pick from, it's got a massive community, it can also be a good bit of fun progressing in your rank 5's team. So if you've got 4 extra friends that enjoy the game, then uh, definitely recommend that. Heroes of the Storm is one of the newer MOBAs. From what I can tell, they seem to be updating it quite regularly, see a lot of different champions and heroes that get put into the game. Um, quite often actually, a lot of different skins, mounts. So if you're after a different type of MOBA, then Heroes of the Storm might be a good pick. Anyway guys, hope there's at least one game on this list that you can uh, find entertaining for you and your friends. I didn't go too into detail with these games, just because I wanted to kind of make it a quick list and make the video go fast so I wasn't just drawn out. At the end of the day, if one of these games takes your interest, you're probably just going to do your own research and look up different gameplay bits of it, so i um, let you guys take it from there. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, have a lovely day and uh, take it easy.